Hello everyone. Today we're going to give uh we're going to talk about least count, first best guess and uncertainty. So this all goes back to um reading instruments and this is going to get us ready for the second part of that metric scavenger hunt that you did. All right. So let's get to it. We're going to go in order. So least count is what we're going to talk about first. We just write it LC because it's quicker. And what does that mean? Okay, so when you look at an instrument, there's a space between the tick marks. And it's in that space that you make a guess. So the space means something. You know, if the measurement comes between the two tick marks, it doesn't mean you round up or round down. You have to do something with that space. So in order to calculate, if you need to, the least count, you would take the two adjacent, any two adjacent tick marks, and you would subtract them, okay? And I'll do an example in just a second. But what this means is that the least count for a ruler, or the rulers that we use in here, is always going to be the same. The least count doesn't change depending on what you're measuring. The same with the spring scales and the tape measures and the trundle wheels and the balances and all the other stuff that you used the other day. All right, so here's an example. Here is a scale. It's in grams and, uh, I can't use my cursor. Okay, um, and you can see that the lines are numbered two, three, four, five. And so four and five are adjacent tick marks. If you subtract them, you get one gram. And so the least count of that scale is one gram. Pretty straightforward gets a little trickier when you get into decimals. So here we go. This time, the each individual line is not numbered like they were at the top, but there are more lines than the numbered lines. So what do you do with that? Well, why aren't the tick marks, for example, between the 14 and 15, why don't those have numbers on them? 14.1, 0.2, 14.3, etc. Any ideas? Well, it's because it would be too crowded and it would be hard to read. So those tick marks mean something. It's just they're not numbered because it would be really crowded. So looking at the example, it looks like I have put yellow on the 13.4 and the 13.5. So those are two adjacent tick, mar tick marks. Take 13.5, subtract 13.4, and you get 0.1. So the least count of this scale is 0.1 grams. Notice they have units on the ends of them. And so that's pretty straightforward. Now, if you can remember this, the other two things fall into place. But you got to understand this first, and we'll practice. OK. Not all, but most of the instruments we'll use in here will have a least count that's a power of 10. So it'll be 100 or 10 or 1 or 0 0.1, 0 0.01. It doesn't always work that way, and then it gets a little trickier, but nevertheless, we'll try to keep this to be true all the time for the rest of the year.